Hello, hello, this is Carrie. I am here because I wanted to do a really quick video. Hopefully it's quick. Um, Tracy Fox has a notebook cha challenge right now and I had, I have a ton of these little notebooks. I would find these once they're these little composition notebooks. Um, yeah, so they're super, super, super cheap but they have a plastic cover and I, it's not gonna work for me to put um, just, uh, just a piece of paper on top. So I really love this project idea. With these guys right here, I'm gonna just use them as is. But with these guys right here, I'm gonna be taking off the cover so how I do this is just like that. It's not even very hard. So on these guys, I've got an idea of what I'm gonna do and I wanted to share that with you guys and hopefully you like what I'm doing. We're gonna take our 12 by 12 inch craft card stock. We're gonna cut it down. So we're gonna cut down nine inches. right here. Okay, scoreboard out. And we're going to score this. I wanna just make sure that we're clear on the scoring. It's gonna be scored at one and three quarters inches. Okay, just like that. Now, I want to have pockets. So I wanna have a side pocket and I wanna have a bottom pocket. So, um, I'm doing this side, instead of a two inch pocket, I'm doing a one and three quarter inch pocket. So then I'm gonna score this at six and three quarters, right here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna score it at seven. The reason why I'm doing that is the width of this notebook is approximately a quarter inch. That's why I'm doing a quarter inch. I'm giving it a quarter inch right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna do a two inch score here, right? Okay, so I've got my two inch score now. I'm gonna score right here on the one and a half inch score line over to our one and three quarter inch score mark that we already made. But then I'm gonna turn this and I'm gonna score, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna, I wanna score about an eighth of an inch from this mark, but I don't wanna score it all the way down. I'm just gonna find that mark and I'm gonna score it right here. So that's at, at, a, at seven and an eighth inch, okay? So now I'm gonna put my my uh, scoreboard, I think I've got everything down. So we have one and three quarters here, six and three quarters, seven, and then this little bit, seven and one eighth. And then this is two from the bottom, and then just this little half inch from there, okay? So now I'm going to take my scissors, and here is how I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut this little notch right here. So not at the two inch mark here. I'm gonna cut them down here, right here. And I'm going to cut that down here. And then I'm gonna cut it up here. And I'm gonna follow this line right here all the way down, okay? I'm gonna follow this line all the way down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now we're coming up to this line right here. We're gonna keep cutting all the way over to that other second line that we did that, I mean, not the second line, the third line that we did right there. Now, so I've cut it all the way. Can you, if you can see, I've cut it all the way over to that one eighth inch 
So seven and one eighth inch line right there. Now I'm gonna turn this and I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut this right here up from the first line that was the six and three quarter inch line right there. Um, that's where I'm gonna cut that. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this here at the angle and I'm gonna cut this here at this angle. And then I'm gonna cut over here at an angle this way and I'm gonna cut this here at an angle this way. Okay, and that is how I am making my base. Make a pocket right here. And I'll show you how I'm gonna take care of that one up there. And then this one will have a pocket here. And I'll show you how I'm gonna take care of it on this side. But you get the basic idea. Now I'm going to fold here and here. Now I like to take these, this little, the string that's in here, I like to take this out. So here is gonna, what's going to be the basic, there is the basic cover. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and glue down my flaps. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some paper. I'm gonna grab my grab my cutter again. I'm gonna I took this so that I could cut out the fun little pieces to use in the pockets. So I'll do that. So those are cut, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna cut it down to seven inches. I'll do my seven inch cut down on this one. And then I'm gonna turn it and do five. In the interest of time, I'm not showing this, but after cutting down my paper to the five by seven inch size, I realized that I actually needed to cut it down just a little bit so that it would have a nice border around. And at this time, I also cut the smaller pocket pieces to fit as well. I ended up taking an eighth to a quarter inch off of the top and the side of each of the five by seven pieces. Okay, I know also that I'm gonna be using this, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a little piece of this. Okay, so 
that's that. Actually, I'm not gonna put that away. I might use the sorry silk for something else. So, we have this like this. Now to finish off our pockets, what I've got here is I've got these two little pieces here. I've taken and I've cut down some of our cardstock. They are one inch by, this one's two inches, and this other piece is one inch by one and three quarters inch to fit here. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna score these and we're going to uh, make them so that they can fit into these to make these pockets. Here I am scoring these and I'm scoring them on the half inch mark. So basically I'm scoring them in half and then we're gonna fold them so that they'll be ready to be cut at an angle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down like this, like so. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and pop these down like this. So you can do it on the outside or you can do it on the inside. Um, I think I'm gonna do these ones on the inside. So there's how that goes. Anyway, I like making pockets this way because I feel like it gives you more on the interior than it does if you just glue your pockets down. So it's just a personal preference. It's, I mean, I... I do it both ways, but I kind of like, you know, if I can, I try to give um, space to, you know, to do this, to add a little pockets. I also kind of feel like it makes the pocket a little bit stronger, so um, more stable. And I think it's going to stay better long term. We're going to go ahead and do the, I'm just going to work on this front cover. I like to do a button closure with a um, piece of sari silk. I'm going to go ahead and put down our paper. This is the inside. These are the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this down for the front. This down for the back. Here I am putting down the last little piece of cardstock and I did end up putting a little piece on the spine piece because I forgot about the sari silk. So you will see that in the next um, few frames, but I did cover it up with sari silk. Okay. All right. Um, I want to put a button on here so these are my button brads this is a kind of a dark pink button here's the thing since I've already put this down I'm gonna have to be real careful when I poke this hole so I'm I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here kind of put my finger in here I'm gonna poke this hole here so I just really carefully poked this hole um, and I put in my brad and made sure that it wasn't too tight in there. I made sure that there was a little bit of space so that I would have room for what I want to do. So there's my button. Isn't that cute? Okay. So I've got my button brad in there. Okay. And I'm going to take this little piece. I'm going to somehow attach this here. 
I'm going to do it so that it goes like this. It'll go around like this. That's what I'm planning. That's the plan. That's the plan, man. Usually what I like to do is put something like this on. And then I do like to anchor it with something. So my go-to really is Brad's. I really like, I like Brad's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. Pop this on. Woo! Right there. Once I got my brad and my ribbon just how I liked it, I decided to put my sari silk onto the spine. And the way that I do this is that I try to make sure to put an even um, film of, of glue down so that it doesn't soak through to the surface and make any kind of gluey spots on the front. So that's what I'm doing here. That's how I put my sorry silk down using the Fabri-Tac, Fabri-Fix, whatever we call it. Depending on what the label says, huh? Kind of like that. Okay, now I'm gonna fix it inside. So I'm tossing this down. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna kind of just make sure very gently, ah, put that aside for a second. I'm gonna very gently pop some glue onto my brad in there. It just gives it a little bit more stability. Now I'm just finishing up gluing in all of my pieces in the middle of my book. These are my, my pocket pieces and my all of my interior pieces are going down. And again, I am going to put a little bit more glue right here on this brad to give it a little more stability. Doesn't that look amazing? I like it. Overall, I think this is cute. Just like that. Okay, so now let's put our pages into our book that we've made. You can do this with the pokey tool, but I really do like having my crocodile. What I usually do, I do it on the 1 8 inch setting. So I'm doing it on the this setting. So I'm going to do 1 inch from the top, 1 inch from the bottom. Okay. So we'll start with that. Now we know that this is by seven inches. So half of seven is three and a half. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do three and a half. I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to take my pokey tool, make sure I'm all centered up, make sure that I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and make my holes using these as a guide. So I'm going to go ahead, here's what I do. So do my pamphlet stitch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the outside. Okay, and I'm going to bring it in. Okay, I'm going to pull it. That's as far as I'm going to pull it. Then I'm going to go up, then down. I mean, it's the basic stitch. Then I'm going to go down through the middle again. I'm making sure that I don't catch on the um, any of these pieces here. So, oh yeah, the other thing is is that you're going to want want you're going to want your thread to be on either side of the thing, and then I tie this up. And that is my little pamphlet stitch. So there we go. Okay. So this is what we've got. We've got this to go in here. Maybe, maybe one of these. And we'll go ahead and pop this in the back. And I think that works. So, yeah. And it's cute. And it's finished. So, like it. Love it. That's kind of the idea. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It took me less than an hour to complete. I hope you liked it. Thanks. Bye.